Hello people, it's Moya Lovely and I'm coming to you with another lovely makeover and we're starting with the Nars Airmine on clean face and we're gonna just use that to moisturize and reduce some pores and all of that before we do our makeup. Next we're gonna grab our got to be glue and I'm using this as a brow gel. I'm gonna comb that through the brows and get the brows nice and flat. Her brows are always um, very short and I'm groomed so we just need to keep them up so we can get that brow like look. <music> Next we're going to apply the moisturizer and I'm using the Neutrogena moisturizer today. I'm just going to rub that in the skin to prime the skin as well. Alright, so now I'm going to pre-prep or pre-farm the, the face with the Urban Decay Ultra Matte Setting Spray. I'm just going to tap that into the skin. This is a great way to have your makeup long lasting. You do it before and after. And then we're, as you see, we're taking our Milani Brow Pencil and we're going to outline and fill in the brows as best as possible. <music> And I just realized I didn't introduce this client to y'all. This is actually, we call, we call each other sister. This is one of my very old friends. We've known each other so long from primary school. Um, she was visiting me um, some time ago. Um, so I decided to meet her face and do a look that she would never do. Because she's a very natural glam kind of girl. Um, but here we're moving on on the face, on the brows, and we're gonna conceal the brows. We're gonna outline them with a the lighter color on the lower part of the eyes. <music> Concealer, we're actually using Fawn, I believe, from LA Girl um, Concealer. Now I'm taking my Derma Blend um, Foundation in Fair and using it as a primer on the skin. It's a very thick formulation, it's a cream foundation, and it's very great primer. taking the Juvia's Blades palette and we're getting that yellow from this palette. I don't remember the name of this palette but you can see it's in the corner of the video. Um, it's that vibrant color palette. Um, yeah, so we're taking the yellow and putting that in the crease as a transition color and then we're just blending it in. <music> Alright, so from that same palette, we're going to go into the orange and we're going to use that to deepen that shade of yellow and we're going to keep it down more in the crease so that the yellow is more blended out and we're going to keep the orange right in the crease. <music> defining the crease and giving our look 
to come together now we're gonna put a little bit of a brown in in that crease as well just to blend everything and marinate everything together and yeah <music> Dermal blend foundation. I'm gonna take a concealer brush and I'm gonna cut the crease. And I'm gonna do a half cut crease like so. We're not gonna carry it all the way to the edge of the brows, but we're gonna focus on the inner portion of the eyes to widen and highlight that part of the eyes. <music> Always remember to blend it out, especially if you're doing a half cut crease, and to take away some of the products so that the eyeshadow or pigment can adhere to it smoothly and there are no patches in the application. Now we're gonna take a with eggshell to um kind of tone and put that on the inner portion of the eyes. It really blends into the the base that we had applied and then we're gonna start blending out the outer portion of the eyes we're gonna be putting a like neutral brown on the on the outer portion and blend that in with the egg tone <laughs> Everything we need to we need to go over, blend, reapply, blend for that seamless blended look. Now we're gonna kind of pause on the eyes and move on to the face. We're gonna add the primer, and I'm using the Sasha primer, mattifying primer for her face because she has the oily t-zone and then we're applying foundation for foundation we're using her mac studio um fix in i think the nw 45 or 40 something um it seems a little bit lighter but it will definitely oxidize and get a little bit darker and also using that to carve out her the top of her brows to make sure that they're all together and yeah in some sense um, some of the areas go versus those areas on the outer portion of her face um, I really like doing this mixing this with certain foundation to give it a small skin like feel because um, of the cream it settles in the skin or looks more skin like um, than the matte foundation um, that she had <laughs> Alright, so next we're moving to her on the eyes. Um, we're using one of her 
concealer. I don't remember what his name. It resembles the LA Girl concealer, but it wasn't. Um, it's a bit lighter for the highlighted look on under the eyes, and I'm gonna then blend that out with a sponge. and I'm tapping a little bit off on my hands to put a very light um, concentration of the powder because I'm gonna apply a little bit more later though um, on the face next we're gonna use the city colors um, contour palette and we're gonna use those shades and contour the nose and all over the face um, and kind of bronze up the face in essence Um, with the Max Studio Fix Powder in NW something, 40 something, I remember. Um, but yeah, we're setting all of the base with that. Of course, you know, we have to get some clips for the gram, so remember to head over to Moy Lovely on Instagram and um, check out yeah, the behind the scenes clip and the videos on pictures. And I'm just applying a little bit of highlighter all over her face um, and blending it in. Now I'm using my NYX ink, ink liner um, to line her line or lash, lash line and give her a wing and I really love how this look on her carrier scene I'm applying a Gabarella's pigment shadow in frost all over the lid and it gives that little glittery look and I totally forgot to do a low light video so you guys could have seen that but it gives a very nice shimmery look in person you can see it in the pictures so remember to go over to instagram so that you can see those pictures i'm also using that same um, highlight to put in the inner part portion of the eyes to brighten and to bring it all together um next i'm gonna use a liner to line her lower lash line i really like um this line of look for um, this look it gives a like cat eye um, sultry look for this look <laughs> you know we have to smoke out the lower lash line so we're using some of the, the shades that we use in the crease or on the eyes on the lower part of the lash line a bit more highlight 
guys and this is a blush i'm um, think i'm using a jordana blush on her um in more of a bronzy shade um it's because we're keeping it quite natural and simple and then we're moving on to the lips for the lips i'm using a milani pencil i don't remember what shade and then we're going to use her Fenty lip balm on the lips Alright, so now we're applying our lashes, and these are some real bomb lashes that she brought. She bought from Amazon. They are, I think, 5D lashes. They were very fluffy, and I really love them. Um, if you want, the link is down below. Um, but yeah, we're just applying some lashes now, and I think we're quite completed with the look. The look really came together. It wasn't her type of look, um, but I really wanted to do this on her because I think this look really suited her eyes. Um, but she is very, very much the natural glam kind of girl. She doesn't like such light colors on her. So as you can, if you can see it in the video, she was very like, dude, is this really it? This is too light. <laughs> but yeah, we got the final look and she looks stunning. remember once again to head over to Moya Lovely on Instagram and check out those pictures. They're bomb. <laughs> Look at her. <laughs> Look at her. Gorgeous. <laughs>